Alrighty guys, I know this is some pretty crappy quality here, but just picked up the uh, new project. So it's a golf cart. Um, just taking it out to a property, private property. Um, so pretty much gonna hopefully lift it up. It's electric at the moment, so we're gonna convert it to petrol. Um, gonna jack it up, hopefully some bigger tires on it and a bit of a lift kit, do something with those seats, probably replace the steering wheel on that. And definitely wanna put a, um, a roof over the top too, just to stop any wind and that. So kind of make it into a bit of a UTV. Um, I've seen a couple of builds on, on YouTube and done some research. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be starting a new project. Um, this is my golf cart, Yamaha G16. I picked up for free off a bloke at work. He's just giving it away. Um, I thought it would be cool to build some sort of buggy or off-road buggy or UTV for out when we're out camping with the trailer. We had to buzz around and get some wood and whatever we need. Um, so in that first clip you guys saw, that was when I first picked it up a few weeks ago. I've been waiting on some parts and all that. Um, I actually got the turf savers pulled off these rims and I got some ATV wheels. So we'll have to paint those up. Um, they have actually put it on the back bead for us. Just got to do the front because I wanted to paint them black. Um, they're a bit rusty in that so we'll do that and then we'll have to try and lift it up because these will rub so it is an electric golf cart um, the batteries are buggered so I did pull those out but uh, hopefully we're going to be putting some sort of pit bike motor in it I've done a fair bit of research online and a lot of people put the Chinese clone motors in them the side shafts um, I'd like something a little bit more talky and definitely so I can cruise up and down the road um, but first we're going to run into town and get some supplies so I need to get some spray paint for the wheels um, get some steel and some sandpaper and all that so let's head in because the stud pattern and the hubs are different from any sort of ATV wheel. I think they're 100 by 4 inch or something. Um, so I couldn't really find anything else and these tyres popped up locally. I got all four um, for 100 bucks, so that's pretty cheap. 
Um, they are 18 by 9.5 by 8, so 8 inch rim. Um, so they should do pretty well, so hopefully they'll fit nicely. Um, they might rub on the side, but that's why I'm going to lift this thing. So I have found some lift kits um, in America, but they're all out, like out of stock and I can't get them in and they're, like, they're excessive $400 to get here. So I think we'll try and make something and that, you know, that's sort of what we do. So now we'll just, um, I'll clean this up with a bit of brake clean and then we'll paint them up and we should be able to whack them on. Hopefully we'll be able to pop these on their bead and it should be good. so it would actually pull the bead on, but it, um, when it pulled this side on, it spreaded these two out. So I had to try and work it on with my uh, knees and all that. But we got it on there and I've put the nipple back in, the um, tire fitting, so I've got one of these removers. So I just removed that out and, and anyway, I'll put it back in. So I'll pump this up. All right, so it's pumped up to 20 PSI. I'll do the other three and we'll bolt them on. Alrighty, so I managed to get two on the bead. Um, the trick was to leave them out in the sun a bit and it'll sort of heat it up and it popped on. It was, it's a nightmare though, so if you guys are doing the same sort of thing, definitely take it to a tire shop and get them to put them on. Um, but while those other ones are sort of uh, baking in the sun there, um, I have noticed that, that I bought these brand new used, so someone had bought them and never fitted them. Um, this one here, the tread is slightly different to this one and it's slightly higher so I didn't actually notice that because it was at the bottom of the pack um, when I got them like they're all stacked up so we're gonna whack it on for now but that will go on the rear so what we'll do now I'll whack the two front ones on um, we'll pull this cover off and I'll pull the bumper off so you guys can see what we're gonna do and we'll start making a lift kit for it <laughs> So we're going to move those mounts down about five inches, hopefully, and that'll obviously mean that we'll have to lower the shock tower as well. So I'll have to make some sort of bracket and bring that down too. 
Um, the kits online have a bent A-arm bracket, so they come down and then they go forward. So I think that pushes the diff forward or the suspension forward. But I've gotten on a few companies and asked them, and they say that um, there's no kit out there for a G16. So I'm not too sure why they have that little bent lip in them. But if you guys know, drop it down in the comments below. But um, all I've seen is basically people either doing a um, economy lift kit, which is what we're going to do, or they replace these A-arms. But as I said, that kit's about $700 um, Australian plus delivery. So I don't really want to be going down that path just yet until we do get the motor going and we might even just fabricate some new front suspension. Um, I did swap this wheel out with uh, the other ones. They're all on there now. So that, that was a bit of a challenge, but that's all right. Um, that's on the back, that odd size one. It's, it's probably about um, two millimeters taller than the others. But anyway, I think it should be fine once it levels out a bit. So I'll undo these bolts and we'll start making up some brackets. We're having a lot of trouble here. Um, I made up these plates just off camera so they'll space it up like that and go down but we're having troubles with this bolt. I did notice on a couple of uh, YouTubers that they had the same issue so yeah we're just trying to get that out. Alrighty guys so that um, bolt took forever to remove. It's actually stuck in the bush. I don't have it here with me but I'll have to get a new bush for it. Um, these bolts that I picked up from the hardware store aren't long enough so by the time I bolt both these plates on it, it won't the nut won't do up so I'll have to get some new ones of them but it is getting kind of late in the day um, so it'll probably be a wrap but basically they'll go on there on the outsides and then we'll have a crush tube inside so it can't bend anything and the same at the back alrighty guys that's a wrap for today's video um, we didn't I didn't get as far as I thought I would the bolts sort of held us back on the front. Um, in next video, I will be extending the uh, steering arms and getting all that done. And then in the back, we'll just be making up some spaces for those um, coils that we've got in there. And we'll have to make up a pan hard extension bar. Um, but I will be doing some more research on what sort of motor to put in and what we can do there. So this should hopefully get us a bit more ground clearance. I think those wheels look really good. They don't rub, so I could keep it low, but I don't, don't really want to do that because um, we'll be using this off-road. But yeah, definitely jump over to Instagram for Inside Scoop before YouTube. I post there a lot. Um, as you guys may have seen, I did post a photo up of this a couple of weeks ago. Smash that subscribe button and give us a like if you like the video. Thank you guys for all the support. I appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.